Good afternoon, loyal subjects of Canadian Emperor Lord Protector Mr. Boychuk. I am Dr. Edward Cullen, Professor of Musical Cinematography at Oxford University. Today, your gracious Emperor has hired me to deliver you a lecture entitled How to Film Your Pass Off Videos 101. I will assure you that the information you will be receiving today is only the best and absolutely correct information available in the known universe. Now, I do believe that we can begin now. Ah, I, uh, See that I've forgotten to introduce someone. This is Michael. Michael is my nephew from Russia, uh, who's a bit delusional and uh, seems to believe he marched an indoor group that never existed. He uh, even made himself a jacket. Anyway, Michael will be my assistant today, as I'm a metaphysical entity only capable of speaking to you through the speakers on your viewing device, whatever it may be. As a side note, Michael has never been able to say any words or generate any noise other than a scream, so good luck understanding anything he tries to communicate. Start with some filming tips. Uh, the key to a successful pass-off video that is sure to impress is the staging. It is of utmost importance to appear strong and confident in your video. To accomplish this, we position the camera at a 45 degree angle to your right, uh, being sure that you can see the entire surface you're playing on up to the top of your head. If you do happen to need music like Michael here, place it directly in front of you and make sure not to block any part of your playing. As a side note on marimba, make sure you can see the full range that you are planning on covering. The next step of filming your pass off video is the lighting. Now, uh, ah, <laughs> it seems that Michael has drawn us a picture like the child that he is on the back of a biology assignment he never completed. So as you can see, if not in a well-lit environment already, to place the light directly in front of you but behind the camera, which is still at the 45 degree angle, uh, it will focus you as the subject and make it much easier on the eyes for your viewers. Now that we've cleared the basics, we can move on to your playing. The first and most obvious step is playing on the correct instrument, because without playing on the instrument that the specified etude is written for, your pass-off video is essentially useless and it will also better prepare you for your actual audition. Since Michael is feeling exceptionally awful today, he's going to provide you some examples of what not to do. Please, please don't do these. The next step, which is arguably more obvious than step one, is to play with the correct implements. I don't think I need to explain this, as I do sincerely believe and hope that you all watching this have the common sense to figure it out. After you've managed to power through the first two steps, be sure to have a metronome playing at the correct tempo. Metronome ensures that you'll be completely accurate with no disparity in tempo during your performance. Thank you. 
Last but not least, be sure that you know the cuts. If you don't know the cuts, there's no point in even attempting a pass-off video. It's a pass-off video. Appearing confident in the material is key to passing the pass-off and will help you immensely in the long run. And that just about does it. Applying this knowledge to your pass-off videos will guarantee a successful pass-off and will better prepare you for the region process in general. My last piece of advice to you is to never wait until the last day to film your videos as Michael has just done. Good luck in your future endeavors, and as you say in Canada, clean pass-off video beats.